Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Mind Your Soul. And today's episode is going to be about cold showers, the neuroscience behind it and what it does to your mental well-being. And today's guest is Chris. He is a coach um, with background as a social worker and now also a Reiki healer. Please introduce yourself to our listeners, Chris. Yes. Hello, I'm Chris. I'm uh, yeah, a mental health coach, a mental health influencer, and also a Reiki healer. And I'm also a researcher in mental health and physical health and everything that goes along with it. So yeah, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. And uh, I keep learning and I keep learning new things every day. And uh, yeah, we go to the deepest depths uh, if it's about health. And um, yeah, let's see uh, what we can talk about today, about the uh, cold exposure and um, everything that is associated to it. Yeah, that's why you're on the podcast, because you've always been talking about cold showers on Instagram, and we connected from there, right? And I was like, oh, cold shower, this is the thought of it, this shivers me. But I know it's very healthy for us. So could you maybe elaborate what does cold exposure mean um, when we do that? And how does it, yeah, maybe you can explain what it is to begin with to our listeners, and then we can talk about these symptoms, um, how it helps you reduce stress, etc. I still see my screen, you still? Yeah, it's, it's freezing up. I don't know why, but I can see you. Yes, I'm back. Yes. So our is is um, it can be a part of our lives uh, that can make us more uh, resilient um, in the daily life um, in situations of uh, stress, in situations of challenge, uh, where we are on our work, where we are in our private life, and um, we don't feel comfortable uh unease um and we don't know how to calm ourselves we don't know how to come out of stressful situations and yeah essentially like implementing the cold exposure a cold shower or a cold bath in our routines uh, can make a big change uh, in our lives so uh this is uh, why i did uh, get into the cold showers uh, more than seven years ago Oh, wow! And, um, <laughs> until the yeah, until the uh, day of today, I'm still doing it daily. And now I'm doing it too because you pushed me. <laughs> that's uh, two, that's guys, a nice day two. Yeah, yeah, day two, and um, it's it, like uh, you just get it's this. Not, yeah, it's not what it's not just easy continue. to 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 do it right. It's like uh, not easy no. to get it in a routine like, or to try it. Um, no. It's not natural uh, for us because as children, so we don't have this anymore that our parents are saying, um, you have to shower um, and uh, they put us under a cold shower. No, it's always warm and comfortable, right? Um, so we are not used to Very it. True. We are not uh, well, raised with it. Country, so, we talked about it. Yeah. Yeah. I live in a cold country and it's still not spring in Denmark, you guys. So it's like, we don't have spring here, but I know it's March, but it's not spring here. So I was like, I don't know. I, I, in my head, I was like, I'm going to begin when it's summer. Um, but then you pushed me and I was like, you know what? I feel like doing it today. I'm just going to do it. So I went for a run and then I did the first one and it was amazing. Like it was cold, like cold as, yeah, it was cold, <laughs> but it felt amazing. And, um, I didn't shiver or have freezing like immediately right after it, as I imagined, but it came later on, maybe because also of the fasting, I don't know. But then I did it again today, this morning. Uh, I actually began, I, I cheated a bit. I did the hot shower in the beginning and then I did the cold in the end. And I was like, oh my God, and just jumped out. And um, it just it just makes you so fresh. You're just ready for the day. You know, you're just like ready to begin the day, basically. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I don't have like much experience it, like we do. So I'm I'm a newbie. <laughs> like with with a lot of um, things in life, we have to learn a lot in order to understand and in order to uh, experience changes. And 
Yeah, one of the beautiful things of uh, doing a cold shower is uh, that you experience directly change. Uh, already before we are uh, experiencing uh, a change, uh, like we experiencing fear, right? So yeah. the fear of uh, going uh, under a cold shower. And uh, once we are under it, we are experiencing adrenaline, right? So, yes, I was just going like, to ask uh, about it more. It's, Actually, it's, if you can explain more on that. Yeah, yeah, and 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 I think that is the beautiful thing, the re the real beauty of uh, of cold exposure is that we can experience directly changes, um, and those changes are also positive. So we can experience uh, directly a positive change for our well-being, um, and 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 everything that uh, changes as well uh, in association uh, to our brain. So yeah, you are of mm -hmm. course uh, the expert uh, when it comes to uh, brain uh, changes. Yeah, but not cold showers. <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, yeah. Could you maybe share with us um, how cold showers influence our so, stress response system yeah, what, in the brain, like the flight or flight response uh, when we are exposed to cold showers? Uh, what happens? I know I can answer it, but um, I have you on. You're the expert on cold showers, so. Yeah, like uh, when we just uh, step into the cold shower, we experiencing first like um, um, like the sympathetic uh, nerve system that's getting um, activated. Uh, and when it's getting activated, we are experiencing uh, a sense of uh, um, of stress that comes with the adrenaline increasement. Um, so we are uh, tapping into the sensation of uh, fly, freeze, or fight. Mm -hmm. um, like this is usually also happening in nature when we are in danger and uh, facing a dangerous situation, right? Very true. Um, you know everything about it, and um, mm -hmm. yeah. And when we when we keep standing um, in the cold shower, then we uh, are moving into the parasympathetic nerve system. Uh, what is happening uh, then is that we can essentially uh, um, uh, sense uh, a feeling of um, becoming more relaxed and uh, becoming more calm. Um, so when we practice the cold shower uh, frequently, um, weekly or even daily, um, we are getting more uh, used to it and uh, we are developing uh, the trust in ourselves that we can actually uh, uh, move uh, from an uncomfortable feeling towards a comfortable feeling that we experience when we are in the parasympathetic nerve system. And uh, once we build this trust inside of ourselves, uh, we get more and more um, uh, resilient for the, for the cold shower and the cold exposure. Yeah. That's just amazing what it does, like just having a cold shower can do so much to you. And you also mentioned the feel good hormones like endorphins, like dopamine. And how do they stimulate? Um, so how do they stimulate those hormones in our brain? What changes have you observed yourself or with your clients? Like, um, yeah, if we really want to observe what is happening in the brain, we need need uh, the, the right uh, uh, um, devices uh, to do that's true uh, like increase changes um, that are increase um, it's difficult like numbers with treatment uh, people say that it can increase levels to uh 300 above baseline wow um, that by is myself insane. i by myself i think um it's it's under it i think it's between uh 50 and 100 percent above baseline um but the association with other neurotransmitters that are uh, increased and the uh, increasement in adrenaline uh, is giving like uh, yeah the strong sensation of uh, physiological changes that are happening inside of us. So it's the combination of neurotransmitters, the combination of uh, all the changes that are happening, 
that is uh, giving us uh, these beautiful feelings. And yeah. how long do you think people should be in a cold shower? Is there like some minutes or is there any accurate term for it? Or yeah, basically just asking that people want to try it. It's basically all based on uh, perception and uh, consciousness. So uh, the more resilient someone becomes, um, like the longer uh, someone can stand in a cold uh, shower or uh, or be in a cold bath. Um, when we uh, can stay like in the parasympathetic nerve system for a longer period of time, it becomes possible to be for a yeah a long time comfortable in the in the cold water, uh, whatever it is, uh, a cold shower or a cold bath. Yes. So how long do you do it as you're not a newbie like me? Uh, actually, in the morning, usually after uh, five to, it's, um, I just, uh, yeah, feel uh, for the day um then my day, yeah. Yeah, the connection is a bit bad, so I actually couldn't hear it, what you were saying. Um, I think you have to repeat yourself because it kind it's of bit, went out. Uh, the connection was not good. Um, so I don't think I could hear it or the listeners. I think we it. are back. We are back. So maybe you can repeat what you said because I couldn't. Uh, yeah. Oh, OK. Um, yeah, I was uh, telling the listeners. Uh, yeah, like really like given 10 in the morning i'm doing shower 10 and minutes. that's of like all this uh in positive feelings since um i feel like adrenaline to uh, come to cold shower uh I feel really aware uh, is uh, still, but um, yeah, start to feel ready to play um, with pipes, with things. Yeah, the internet is going out all the time, so it's kind of, it's getting hard. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, you're frozen now and um, you were, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, so you do 10 minutes because I still um, couldn't hear it. Yeah. Um, it's better now, right? Well, yeah, right now it's okay. So I think we can we can try to. So, okay. Could could you hear it or? Uh, yeah, I could hear some like, in the again? morning. You do it for ten minutes. Um, is that correct? Okay. Ten minutes is yeah, a long that's time. Correct. So wow. usually between five and 10 minutes. So to get the adrenaline uh, racing, wow. so uh, we start to feel really awake, right? Because uh -huh. usually when we just wake up, we are in a state where we are a little bit like dreaming in between dreaming and awake. So once we do the, the, the cold shower, like the adrenaline increase and we start to feel awake and the blood circulation start to uh, become more, and uh yeah we start to feel uh more awake so uh, active yeah that's amazing i don't know how you do it but i think practice makes perfect as with everything so do you think that cold yes, showers, definitely. yeah do you think that cold showers could be a form of mental training as well to improve emotional regulation because yes, we do definitely. Uh, it, you explained so yeah yeah it uh, it can definitely help by emotional uh, regulation and it can make us more uh, resilient for uh, anxiety uh, and stress uh -huh. um, so it, it works like this that when we are doing the cold shower we are um, before we are stepping into it we are facing a situation of fear uh -huh. because uh, um, we don't like the idea of um, um, uh, of dropping down our own body temperature 
because if it's going to drop down too much, um, it becomes a dangerous situation. And uh, we want to not uh, um, get in a dangerous situation by ourselves. So once we practice doing the cold shower and we practice of uh, facing this fear and overcoming this fear, we become more resilient. So during the day, like in situations, in private situations or on work, uh, where we are facing uh, conversations with uh, colleagues, with managers, directors um, that are usually not so easy, or they can bring discomfort and stress or in a private life uh, where we are um, having uh, conversations uh, that, that have like stress involved. Uh, we are uh, actually already like used to the to the stress, uh, and we are actually al already more resilient because, yeah, we know how to deal with these emotions, with these strong emotions that we are experiencing uh, while we are doing the cold uh, cold shower. So we are actually already practicing how to deal with those feelings, how to deal uh, with this uh, discomfort. So once that is occurring during the day in those situations. Mm -hmm. In our daily life, uh, we feel like, ah, oh, I uh, I recognize this uh, these feelings. I recognize this discomfort, and I know how to deal with it. I just mm -hmm. have to breathe through it. And uh, this is what I'm also doing when I'm doing the cold shower. So, uh, and when we are breathing through it, we are moving directly towards the parasympathetic nerve system. What we are also doing while we are doing cold showering. And we start to become more calm and we start to feel more relaxed and um, yeah, our nerve system starts to become more calm. And uh, yeah, this is giving again like a sensation of, uh, yeah, we are in control. Uh, we, uh, we know how to manage uh, the situation. And uh, yeah, if we feel in control and we know how to manage uh, the situation, um, we feel more relaxed, we feel more comfortable. And we feel also more secure. Um, so our, our brain is uh, working uh, way much uh, more optimal and, and is way much more functional like uh, uh, in the situation we are in the moment. So we are more in the present, more in the moment. And we know actually how to proceed because we have the calmness and we have the security that we uh, yeah, are always cultivating in the morning by, uh, by doing the cold showering. Yeah, you're definitely in the present when you're doing the cold shower because I was screaming. I was like, this is so freaking cold. And I was like, ah, I don't want this. But then it felt amazing. So yeah, you're definitely in the present, you guys. If you haven't tried it, I would recommend you doing it just like I did. I took, um, so I didn't go directly with my hair. I just, I took the header off or what you call it. And um, I just did it to my body and I was like screaming. And my kids were like, mama, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just showering. <laughs> so yeah. I think for beginners level, which I am at, that that's the way to go for sure. So you said yes. you were doing breathing um, in the shower. What kind of breathing are we doing while we're in the shower? Um, the idea is to stay in the present moment because we want to be conscious about our uh, physiological changes. Mm -hmm. So once we become like conscious about them uh, while we are breathing, uh, then uh, it becomes like less uh, uncomfortable um, because when we when we are doing the breathing, we are not only increasing like the oxygen inside of our body. Like this oxygen can also uh, uh, warm up inside of our body. So this is uh, this is an extra physiolo physiological change, mm -hmm. but it also makes us conscious about that we are in the present moment and that we are. Um, uh, facing uh, the situation of the cold shower and uh, while we are breathing we are actually like breathing through it so uh, once we start to um, for example um, have a breathing that is out of control we mm -hmm. become even more out of control and it becomes on a certain moment impossible to stay longer in the in the cold shower mm -hmm. um, but when we keep uh, a steady breathing and we um, keep breathing in like in a calm uh, and focused way uh, we are actually uh, becoming in control 
um, like of the situation and uh, we we are going to manage the the cold temperature way much more easy mm -hmm. that makes sense yeah I still can't imagine how to do breathing while I'm in the cold shower because it's, it's so freaking cold. I just want to, but that's maybe because I'm new. I just want to get out from there. So for me right now, it's in the future. Maybe I will do breathing um, in the shower. Uh, I do lots of breathing on a daily basis, but it's like in the shower, it's a bit weird to me to be doing that. Um, so is there a specific breathing for that? Like, do, is there a name for the breathing if people want to try it or... Yeah, can you say something about that? It's like um like like the most easy example is yeah, when we are in nature and we are facing a a, a situation where we are in fear, we are increasing our breathing. This is naturally like happening because uh we need to have like a lot of oxygen uh inside of our body uh because we have to come in action, right? So the the heart it wants to pump like really fast mm -hmm. uh, because we have to respond. It's a threatening uh, situation um, of life and death. Mm -hmm. um, but when we are in the cold shower, uh, we don't want to be like in a threatening situation of life and death. We want to be in control, and we want to move from the sympathetic to the parasympathetic nerve system. So. How do we do that um, um, by um, 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 connecting with our with our body, with our physiology, and how do we become in control? Is um, having like a breathing that is in control. So breathing in uh, through the nose and breathing out through the nose, uh, not much different than we are normally doing, like in the daily life, because mm -hmm. uh, now in this conversation we are in control. Uh, usually, like during the daily life, we are in control because we are breathing in uh, in a relaxed way. And um, so, yeah, that, that we can do as well in the cold shower. And then we are going to become in control again uh, of ourselves. Uh, and we are not going to be in a situation of, of fear uh, where we feel like uh, escaping from the, the cold shower. But we feel actually uh, we can manage it. We can we can we can stand on the cold shower, and it's not going to yeah be so difficult for us. So as a newbie as I am, so I just did. I think I did maybe less than a minute. So is that enough? Or like, if people want to start, where do we start? Because I, I I don't really think good. I can work one minute. Like that's really good, actually. Because most of the people, they just do it a few seconds the first time. That's also totally fine. It's kind of uh, a play. So um, while we are doing it uh, more, uh, we are going to become more resilient. So it's a play of the, yeah, the cold temperature that we are mm -hmm. facing. And how long can we be uh, in this temperature? So we can challenge ourselves, we can challenge ourselves, we can make a game out of it. We can say, today I'm doing uh, 30 seconds, uh, yeah. tomorrow I'm going to do 35 seconds and I'm going to see if I'm uh, capable of. So uh, with that, um, um, we can stay for longer periods of time under the cold shower and, and, and it becomes kind of like a game, it becomes enjoyable. So yeah. Yeah, and the feeling after is amazing. Like the feeling after is like worth it. It's just like, <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not a big fan of strength training, but I still do it because the feeling after it's amazing. So when we work on our muscles, not do our body only get resilient, but our minds get resilient too. And it's the same thing with the cold showers, basically. So just pushing yourself in a different way and, and working on your mental and physical well-being. So I think that's amazing that you can do that. So if um, I see people in Denmark, they, they hop in seas. We are surrounded by water here in Denmark. So people do that. It's like a thing. They just hop in the ocean. Um, yeah, and that's even more scary to me because like doing it here is like a safe spot. But like doing it outside is even more crazy. So people do that, um, even though it's minus, I don't know, 15 here. So have you done that as well? Like what's the difference between doing that and doing that in the shower? 
Like um, when we are, I have done that. Uh, like when we are jumping, like in a river or uh, in a lake, like uh, yeah. in the winter. Um, mm -hmm. Like in the past, when I was uh, working uh, in the field, we did also uh, survival uh, challenges where we had to swim like in water that was on the top, like covered with ice. So they had oh, wow. to break the ice of uh, a big lake. So uh, in order for us to swim like through uh, through the lake, which was wow. literally like uh, ice water. Um, so that's not only like uh, just concentrating and uh, sitting still like um, uh, in, in, in the ice, but it's literally like swimming through the ice water. Um, like when we jump uh, like into water that is very cold, or ice water um it becomes more difficult to uh move from the sympathetic to the parasympathetic nerve system because um, um it's a bigger uh, temperature uh, shock yeah uh, but when we do it progressively um we are more in control so uh, when we are more in control we are also more in control over our breathing mm -hmm. um so then uh, it becomes easier to um to become calm and, and and peaceful while we are exposed to the cold temperatures. Um, so when we are uh, moving a lot, it sounds like uh, we are warming up. So um, to me, it but, seems unreal. Um, <laughs> if we are swimming, if we are swimming, if we are swimming through ice water, um, we are also uh, concentrated about the the swimming itself. That's true. And when we are uh, sitting still, like in the in the ice water, uh, we are more focused uh, on our breathing, <coughs> and we are more focused on, uh, yeah, on the temperature that we are experiencing inside of us. So the idea is to become uh, the idea is to become more conscious. So I would prefer uh, by myself and recommend uh, to others to just start with. Um, going slowly into the cold water um, and not uh, jump into it um, and also not uh, swim into it because when you're doing it in your shower or in your bath at mm. home you're way much more in control you can yeah. go out of it when you want to yeah um, and you can even progressively like um, step into a cold shower or uh, a cold bath so we are way much more in control of ourselves. And uh, yeah, if the the period of time is going to extend for um, a too long uh, time, then uh, we can easily step out of it and everything will be fine. I think that was very good um, take on the cold showers and how to do it and how to gradually expose yourself. And I think with that said, we're kind of done with this uh, episode. So Chris, where can people find you? If they want to reach out, you, you're a coach too, and now a healer as well, a Ricky healer. So where can people find you if they want to work with you? Definitely, like uh, the gold. Uh, so people can find me on Instagram, uh, memo .rates. Yeah, um, I will tag you. They can also, they can also uh, DM me there and find me there. Um, so for any anyone that uh, wants to know more, that wants to follow my program. Uh, they can reach out to me there and um, yeah in the program are also different uh, aspects involved like beside doing the cold exposure and uh, yeah we can uh, talk more about that in another podcast <laughs> he's inviting himself to another podcast you guys <laughs> i like that <laughs> of course we can and thank you so much for coming on chris that was very insightful and yeah, you, you definitely inspired me to try it, but I'm in a control environment. No way I'm going out to the sea or a lake or river. Forget that. Maybe in the future, but right now I can't see it because um, it's as tough as it is. Um, but I like the feeling I get after I've done it. And I'm very proud of myself. So it's kind of like the reward system gets activated in the brain. I'm like, yeah, I did it. You know, so it feels amazing. And also to have someone who's accountable partner. So I'm using you. And I'm texting you like, hey, I did it. So that feels good too, because you have someone you can rely on, right? So sometimes doing things on your own can be hard. We kind of need support. We kind of need a community. 
And um, that's why I think this is what we do as coaches, right? We help people guide them, mentor them, so they can become the best version of themselves. Um, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. with that said, thank okay. you, Chris, for coming on. And uh, people can find you. I will tag. Uh, I will tag Chris for you guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.